Did it mattify? Did it blur? Hmm. Back, back. Give me 50 feet, girl. Hey, y'all, and welcome back to Wind Down with Lee. Today, we're going to talk about that Givenchy, or Givenchy, or Givenchy setting powder in comparison to the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder to see which one actually does best on my face. Now, all I'm gonna do is put it on and I want y'all to leave me comments below. Let me know which one you actually like for my skin. Let's get into it, yeah. All right, this is Laura Mercier's Pure Canvas Primer. It is a hydrating primer. So if you have dry skin, cop this one. As you can see, it did mattify my skin. If you look on my forehead and right between my eyes, you'll notice that one is shinier than the other. So for that claim, it's a win. Today I'm gonna go in with two OD but goodies, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and I'm using two shades, 365 and 356. Sometimes I do like to mix it up by putting on two shades of foundation just to make sure that my face looks like it would normally look on any other day. Lighter in the center, and darker around the edges. I put a little bit too much on my face and if you do this, you can fix it. Just use your beauty blender and this will thin out the foundation. See? All right, I'm getting ready to go in with my Juvia's Places Concealer. This is the shade 11. If you haven't checked out the full face review that I've done on Juvia's Places makeup, go ahead and check that out after you look at this video. I'll let you know my thoughts on this concealer. With brushes, you're gonna get a full coverage. Like, ain't taking nothing off your face, bro. If you want it to be seen, it will be seen with brushes. So remember that. Do, 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 baby shark, do, 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 do. I did go really light with my concealer today because I want a bright eye today. Typically, I do not. Have you guys ever tried the Givenchy, <laughs> Givenchy setting powder? But it does retail for $58, okay? There are four different shades. My friend told me we're not settling into wrinkles and under eye bags and things of that nature. We're not doing that. We don't want to set creases as you're supposed to look up. My eyes are getting ready to tear. I can definitely see the pink. Woo. And it does have a scent to it. So it is a soft. I'm gonna take take my all right. What y'all think? Can you see a difference? I mean, of course you can see a difference, but did it mattify? Did it blur? Hmm. So with that being said, I'm going to take my mini Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm using the shade. Let me show you the bottom. Translucent. I'm going to take just the translucent powder and I'm going to set the other eye, which is this one. And let's see what happens. New brush, new pad. Okay. This is the, this is the one that I used on the other one. And this is the fresh one. That way, you know, I'm not cheating. I'm not being biased. You know, I love my Laura Mercier, but Honey, we got to see what's going on here. The girls want to know. They want to see if it makes a difference for $58, okay? Let's quit talking, Uh-huh, 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 Take our pad. Okay, so, hmm, what y'all think? Which one y'all like? Do you like any? I mean, you could not like any of them, right? Which one do you like? Back, back, give me 50 feet, girl. Comment below and let me know which eye do you like. This one is the Libre Prism. This one is the Laura Mercier. 
Okay, y'all, I got somewhere to go, so I'm just going to speed it up and move on through the video. I got somewhere else to be. If you wasn't paying attention before, baby, tap in right now, okay? Because I'm going to give you some tea after looking back at this video and doing this edit. That flesh foundation is actually way too warm for what I was going for. And you'll see towards the end of this video, I was thinking that it was my doggone concealer. Baby, no. It was a little bit of everything actually throughout this whole entire video that led to me not actually liking the way that my makeup came out. Needless to say, I still tried to push on and, you know, get the makeup done. However, clever i go back in with a freaking bronzer on top of that even though this was a new bronzer and i wanted to try it out if i would have paid attention or if i wouldn't have been rushing i would have noticed that i needed to go in with actually the black radiance palette because it is a little more darker so it would have deepened that tone and gave me a little more cool than warm to kind of even it out so if you don't get anything else from this video baby learn from my mistake i'm trying to go back and use my concealer brush to blend in the bronzer or contour with my concealer to get everything to mesh and look how it's supposed to look right and it just wasn't working out for me so i ended up using the concealer brush the foundation brush the freaking sponge that just you know hey it finally worked for me so i'm happy about that but at the end of the day I want you to know tenacity, baby, okay? I did not give up. Even though I hated the way this was going and my insides were hurling at me to stop, I did not. And so you don't stop, okay? Keep going, keep going, honey. If I can do this, you can do this. Trust me. This nose contour, I'm moving too fast. I hate it, but it is what it is. Y'all, I don't even know if I'm gonna put this video out to y'all because right now I'm feeling like my face looks like an epic fail like i don't like it there is just something that is missing something that is off but i'll keep going but yeah no i don't mm -mm. <sighs> sad face and it's getting worse Totes not the color that I wanted, but whatever. My husband down there waiting like, girl, you said you was gonna be ready such and such and such. I did, I'm not. Bro, it takes me a little bit longer than that to do all of these. I wish it didn't. I wish that I woke up like this. I woke up like this. <laughs> That's not my reality. Basically, I'm doing my whole eye with this because I'm going real quick. This is why I'm using one brush. I'm wiping it off and I'm moving. <laughs> there, that's that. If I miss the step, I'm just gonna have to miss it. I'm gonna put some blush on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dab, 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 dash out the door. Do you hear me? Uh oh, and then I would pick up the one that's all crushed up. Look at this. <sighs> I'm gonna use it though. Oh, it's still so pretty. At least y'all know I'm human and I F up too. Baby, I ain't put no lashes on. I ain't put no mascara on. I ain't put nothing on. After these messages will be right hey, So back. I tried to fix what I could fix. And uh, yeah, I make mistakes, but I did try to go back and finagle some of my makeup. I just thought it was too light in those zones that I told y'all I meant to go light on. I just don't like the way that looks. So I did go back in with my Ben 9 powder and I set those areas again and resprayed it. So you let me know down in the comments if you see a difference, like if it really made a difference. Because in person, I can tell, you know, I'm looking at my mirror, like it makes a difference. That's all I got. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out and the bell notification because I do upload new videos every week. Wednesday and every Sunday and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at wind down with Lee. All right y'all be good. Bye.